You walked in the hallway before stopping in front of your locker and open it to get your books. But you flinched when suddenly someone covers your eyes from behind with their palms. You sighed with relief because you know that person cannot be other than your silly friend. Hari, do you really have to do this? Don't you know I can recognize you even if you pass through me? She disappointedly removed her hands from your eyes and then you turned around to face her. How do you manage to rec- recognize me? Who will not if you will do the same trick again and again? Anyways, let's go. Our classes are going to begin. Yeah, you both made your way to your classroom. Vine, look over there. Your crush is coming. She said teasingly, and you looked up to find Jungkook, the cool heartthrob, coming towards your way. Your heart skipped a beat on seeing him. How many times I have told you he is not my crush? I am still not going to believe it. I can see how your cheeks turns red just by hearing his name. Soon the distance between you and him was decreasing. You were looking at him while he was walking towards you. The thought that he was coming to you made your heart flutter. But to your disappointment. He walked past you without even glancing at you. Your heart ached, but then you consoled yourself because, of course, why would he come to you when he himself has told to act as strangers in college? You know what? He is full of attitude. Didn't even took a glance of you. You are thinking too much. Why would he glance at me? It's not like we are dating. But he likes you. I have caught him staring you most of the times. Hurry, don't talk nonsense and let's go. She didn't say anything and followed you while frowning. It's been a month to your marriage. It was a forced marriage for both of you and Jungkook, for a partnership deal in between the two families. You always care about your parents' feelings more than yours, and that was the reason you agreed to marry Jungkook. Jungkook was also forced into this marriage. He was not ready for the marriage this early, but he had not any option except to marry you. On the first night of the marriage, he told you not to expect anything from him, and from that day on, he is cold to you. Mostly, he ignores you. It hurts when he behaves like this with you. After marriage, you got admission in the same college as Jungkook. He is the heartthrob of the campus, and he told you to keep your marriage a secret. So nobody knows that you are his wife, not even your friend Hari. Whole class is listening carefully to the teacher, but your mind was somewhere else. You were admiring Jungkook unknowingly. He felt someone's gaze, so he turned his head sideways, and his gaze met yours, and your heartbeat fastened. You both gazed deep into each other's eyes, but then he coldly. raises his brows as if asking why you were staring him continuously you gulp and shook your head as no then immediately shifted your gaze back to your book then he too looked back on the board talking through gestures i see she said teasingly while wiggling her brows shut up and focus on class you said while hiding your blushed cheeks Why you always scolds me? After all, I always say the truth. Shut your mouth. See Wang then focus back on the lecture. You smile mentally as you found her cute. Are you also seeing what I am seeing? What? You asked her while following your brows. Hmm. 
Look over there. That so-called popular girl Helena is trying to flirt with your man. You looked where she pointed and your heart ached on seeing the scene. Jungkook and the popular girl Helena were so close to each other, talking and giggling. She is quite beautiful and popular in college. You felt insecure about yourself on seeing them together. You felt lump in your throat, but you controlled yourself and sighed quietly. They seem close. You muttered slowly, "Yes, I am observing her nowadays. She is always behind Jungkook. I think he is her new target." What we have to do? Let's go from here. You turn around and start walking away from there with heavy heart. I'll kill this Helena some day. She muttered while following you. Van and Jungkook come downstairs for dinner. You were studying and suddenly heard Jungkook's mom's voice. And then you looked at Jungkook, who seemed unbothered. Maybe he didn't hear her, as he is using headphones while playing the video games. You stood up on your place and decided to inform him about dinner. Jungkook, you nervously called him, but he didn't react. Jungkook, you again called louder than before, and finally he shifted his gaze on you. What he asked coldly. Mom is calling us for dinner. So, wine in mind. Is he fool? I said mom is calling us for dinner. So what should I do? You go. Want you have dinner? None of your concern. He said coldly, then again started playing game. This cold jerk! I shouldn't have told him at first place. You mumbled while gritting your teeth, then went downstairs. Why, dear? Your hair comes it. Where is Jungkook? Mom, he is. I'm here, mom. You instantly looked behind and found him coming down the stairs. Come, come, sit. Soon he approached you and sat down on the chair before taking glance of you. He is unbelievable. You mumbled slowly. Did you say something? He asked while raising his brows. His lips curved into a teasing smirk. No, why would I? You asked while raising your brows. You frowned as it's unusual of his behavior. Seems like he is in playful mood. Mrs. Jeon served food in both of you and Jungkook's plates. Soon you both started eating. When does Jungkook take care of you in college? She asked suddenly. On hearing her, you glanced at Jungkook, who was already looking at you. Then you shifted your gaze to Mrs. Jeon and posed a smile before saying. Yes, mom. There is no need to worry. He takes care of me very well. Okay, okay. Tell me in future if he doesn't. I'll give him a good lesson. Rest assured, mom. He is good to me. Jungkook surprisingly looked at you as he thought that you will reveal to Mrs. Jeon that you both act as strangers in college, but you didn't. It amazed him. He took a glance of you before taking the bite of food. I can't reveal it to mom. After all, we are married. I accepted my fate and decided to put efforts in this marriage which I'm doing. 
I am giving my best to make this marriage work, but Jungkook, he is not even ready to talk properly to me. Seems like he dislikes me so much. That's why he don't put efforts in this marriage. Jungkook is carefully listening to the teacher, but suddenly a thought crossed his mind, and it unknowingly brought a smile on his face. Then he shook his head in disbelief. Why am I thinking about her? He mumbled to himself. By the way, where is she? I didn't got glimpse of her in the whole campus from morning. He said to himself in mind while roaming his eyes in the whole class. He frowned his brows and he didn't find you in the class. He didn't knew why, but your absence affected him. He felt uneasiness in his heart, so he decided to ask your friend about your whereabouts. Where is she? He asked her while whispering. Who? She whispered back in teasing way. It's not time for jokes. He whispered angrily. I myself don't know. Looks like she is absent today. She didn't even inform me. She whispered back. He frowned and tried to remember something. But in the morning she was completely ready for college. Then why didn't she come? Is she fine? Mom is also not at home. I have to check up on her. He mumbled, then stood up and exited the classroom before getting permission from the professor. He gets inside his car and drove away on full speed. On reaching the house, he instantly got off from the car and ran inside the house to find you. Meanwhile, you are lying down here, groaning in pain because of period cramps. But suddenly, the door opened with a loud sound, revealing Jungkook, making you shocked. He is looking tensed. There are drops of sweat visible on his forehead, and he is panting badly. On seeing him, you got worried, so you got up and sat while resting your back on the headboard. What happened, Jungkook? You are supposed to be in college at this time. You asked while looking at the wall clock. Are you okay? Why didn't you come to college today? He asked while taking his steps towards you, completely ignoring your earlier question. You watched him coming towards you, and finally he reached to you and stood beside you. He puts his hand on your forehead to check your temperature and then move it back while sighing. I'm asking something, Van. You're lost in seeing him, as it's so unusual of him. You came back to your senses and started looking here and there, trying to find an answer, as you're feeling embarrassed to tell him that you didn't went to college because you got your periods today. Can you speak clearly? I'm not able to understand this kind of language. I got my periods today. You said without looking at him. He understood why you were hesitating to tell him. Is it paining? No, not that much. Tell me if you want something. I'll bring it for you. Okay? Okay. Then I am going downstairs. Call me if you need something. Okay, you said. Then he made you lay down on the bed and covered you properly with a duvet. Then he left from there. Was gotten into him today. Did he really come back all the way from college for me? Why it feels so surreal? 
I mean, doesn't it show that he cares for me? Which he definitely don't. It doesn't matters to him if I'm okay or not. Then why suddenly? Is it because he really do cares for me, or he did all these things as responsibilities of being husband? Why is my heart beating so fast? Why I got tensed for her? Why I sighed with relief on seeing her? What's happening to me? During your periods, Janku continued to take care of you. He prepared your favorite meals, gave you gentle massages to ease the pain. He was determined to make your periods as bearable as possible. He didn't even went to college for three days. You couldn't help but feel incredibly lucky to have someone like Janku by your side. But somewhere in your heart, this all felt surreal and unbelievable to you. It was so unusual of him to take care of you. It's making you confused of he really cares for you or he just did all this just as good human being. I felt so alone these days without you. She pouted. I'm sorry. Now I am here in front of you, so you should smile. Yes. Today we will go home together. Okay. You know what? I have a good news for you. Really? What is that? Jungkook asked me about you when you were absent. This can't be true. Believe me, he really did. You didn't reply and started thinking something. You know what it means? What? That your absence affects him. You are saying silly girl. I'm saying the truth. You never believes me. That's because you always talk nonsense. Only if what she said is true. But I know him. This marriage was against his wish. I know very well he doesn't likes me. My absence or presence doesn't matters to him. Hey, Van, what's happening there? You look where she pointed. Why is crowded there? I too don't know. Let's go and see. You both walk towards the crowd to see what's happening, and your heart drop on seeing the scene in front of you. Hari was shocked too. She shifted her gaze on you and found your face turned pale already. As Helena was confessing her feelings to Jungkook while kneeling down, he was shockingly listening to her. Hari shifted her gaze on you and found your face turned pale already. Suddenly, everyone started shouting, or we can say, started cheering for her. He would definitely say yes to her, as she is so perfect. Your heart ached more. You felt as if everything is finished now. She called you worriedly, but you were deep in your thoughts, so you didn't hear her. You unknowingly took steps back and scoffed sadly yet sarcastically. So it was all just because of fulfilling your responsibilities. I see. You again took a step back, then turned around and ran away from there, while wiping your tears with the back of your hand. And Hari followed you worriedly. Jungkook is unaware about the fact that you have seen everything. Van, stop! Listen to me. She called you while walking behind you. Hari, please leave me alone. I'm okay. But Van. Hurry, please. You lifelessly entered inside the house and put your bag on the couch, and you yourself lay down on it. Unknowingly, tears escaped from your eyes. Why is it hurting so much? Why am I so hurt to lose you when you were not even mine? Well, expectations always hurts. You wiped tears with the back of your hand, 
but they again streamed down your cheeks. You couldn't control yourself and ended up crying badly. Jungkook entered inside the house and walked to the living room and found you immersed in book. You noticed his presence when he asked you. Is mom back? Not yet. You replied coldly while reading the book. Jungkook found your behavior a little different than usual, but he shrugged, thinking you are studying this way, and then he went upstairs to get dressed. What are you making for dinner? He asked casually while entering inside the kitchen. I am making dinner only for myself. Do not expect anything from me. You said while chopping the vegetables. What kind of behavior is this? You scoffed. Do you remember the first day of our marriage when you told me not to expect anything from you? I am doing it. I am not expecting anything from you and I hope the same from you too. You said without looking at him while continuing chopping the vegetables. His heart ached on hearing you. He remembered that night when he told you the same thing. He realized you must be hurt too. He cursed himself mentally for making you feel hurt. I'm sorry for that day. He mumbled slowly. But you ignored him, so he sighed and left from there. Will not you sleep? He asked while descending the stairs. It shouldn't concern you. You replied coldly without looking at him. I'm just asking. Then don't. Mind your own business. Was with you behaving all rudely to me. I have learned that only from you. You said then left from there, leaving him soft and confused with a little bit of realization. Do I behave that rudely with her? What harm has she done to me that I behave like this with her? Such a jerk you are, Janko. The moment you have entered inside the college, everyone is behaving weirdly. As soon as they see you, they start whispering something. Right now, you are walking through the hallway searching for Hari, but these whispers are disturbing you. You very badly wants to know what they are talking about, but you just shrugged it. Hari, I am here. You waved at Hari, who was going towards the lockers. She instantly ran towards you on hearing you. You are looking cheerful today. I thought you thought I must be crying in the corner. No, I mean. Come on, Hari. I am not some stupid to cry over someone who was never mine. She nodded. Then should we go to our class? Class got finished. You and Hari are randomly discussing when a boy approached your seat. I was absent a study. Can you help me in some math problems? Please don't say no. You are my last hope. Hari first kissed that boy, then you. Let's discuss in library. Thank you so much. I'll be so grateful to you. You nodded. Let's go. He nodded quickly. Hari gave you thumbs up while smiling teasingly. This girl is really crazy. You said to yourself in mind, then made your way towards the library, followed by Alex. You are explaining sums to Alex, but his mind is somewhere else. He is busy in admiring you. There is a hidden smile on his face. You are unaware that he is staring you lovingly from the time you have started explaining him. 
Meanwhile, Jungkook entered in the library. He roamed his eyes to find seat, but his gaze landed on you. He saw that Alex is staring you lovingly while you are telling him something in the notebook. He felt uneasiness and some strange emotions in his body. He was not able to understand what's happening to him, but he knew one thing for sure, that he didn't like whatever he saw right now. He unknowingly glanced his jaw and left from there. Jungkook tiredly entered inside the house, but his all tiredness faded away when he saw the person in front of him. He quickly ran towards her and hugged her tightly. Mom, you took too much time to come back. I'm sorry dear, but I'll make it up to you by making your favorite dishes. Yes, please, Mom. I missed your hands' food. She chuckled. By the way, where is Wan? He frowned. Didn't she come yet? No, usually she comes earlier than you, but today she hasn't come yet. You should call her. He dialed your number, but you didn't pick. He dialed again two, three times, but still you didn't pick. Mom, she is not picking. You should try once, maybe she'll pick yours. Okay, wait. See, it's start dialing your number. Why isn't she home yet? Is she fine? She's not even picking my call. I hope she's okay. She picked it up. She whispered to Jungkook. Why and where are you? Are you fine? Mom, I'm at my mom's place. I was missing her, so I came straightly here from college. It's okay, but you didn't inform us. We were tense for you. I'm sorry, mom. It's all right, dear. Then I'm hanging up. She's at her mom's place. Did something happen between you two when I wasn't at home? She asked strictly, while crossing her arms. No, mom, not at all. Then why is he didn't pick your calls? I myself don't know, Mom. I'll go get fresh. He said, then made his way to his room while thinking something. Mrs. Jeon frowned, but then she just shrugged her shoulders and left to make dinner for Jungkook. She did not pick my phone even after I dialed two, three times, and picked Mom's call right away. And she suddenly went to her mom's place without even informing anyone. It's kind of strange. What's going on in her mind?
Jungkook is casually roaming around the hallway. Then he noticed some students gathered in circle. He frowned and decided to check what's going on. Alex is asking you out, but you nervously stood there. You first looked at Alex, then at the crowd, who is giving you judgmental looks. You don't know why. You wanted to refuse him, but in such a way that he would not get hurt. Meanwhile, Jungkook's blood boiled on seeing all this. He clenched his fist. Jealousy and possessiveness ran through his veins. He instantly walked to you and held your wrist tightly. You grasped at his sudden appearance. He first glared you, then glared Alex. If I ever saw you near her, then it will not be good for you. He warned Alex, then dragged you away from there. You are confused as well as angry with this this kind of behavior. You tried to free your hand from his grip, but it didn't work. Let go of my hand. Where are you taking me? You said aggressively, but he ignored you and kept dragging you. I said, leave my hand. You shouted. He again ignored you and dragged you on the rooftop, then left your hand. You got cut off when he aggressively smashed his lips on yours. He, your bottom lip. His aggression. He was pouring his all emotions, jealousy, possessiveness into the. But you didn't respond it back to him. Instead, you viciously pushed him away and landed a hard slap on his cheek with all the force, making his face turn sideways. He got shocked with a sudden slap. What do you want to prove by doing all this? Why in your mind and that Alex tried to steal you away from me? I just couldn't let that happen. I'm not an object over which you can show your rights whenever you want. I'm a human. I do have feelings and emotions. His expression softened. Why in can you listen to me please? I can't see any other near you. It breaks my heart. So that's why I couldn't stop myself from drag- dragging you away from there, so that Alex can't. You scoffed sarcastically. So you can't see any other boy near me and expects me to agree with you dating Helena. He frowned. What are you saying, Van? Now acting all innocent, I see. Can you say clearly? Aren't you dating Helena? He frowned. What are you even saying, Van? Do not lie to me, Jungkook. I myself saw her proposing you that day. You saw everything. Then why are you saying I'm dating her? Were you present there till the end? No, I just left after the crowd started cheering for her. What should I have done there when I clearly knew that you would say yes to her? Oh, so that's why you changed your behavior towards me and even went. Away from me to your mom's place. When you should have at least asked me before coming to any conclusion. You are judging a whole movie just on the basis of trailer. I do not believe you. I believe on my own eyes, and I saw everything with my these eyes that day. Let me explain your misunderstanding. I do not want to hear anything from you anymore. And also, when Helena proposed to you, I didn't meddle in between. So I expect the same from you too. It's totally upon me whether I accept this proposal or not. You are not anyone to stop me. His heart dropped. He knelt down. Try to understand her proposing me doesn't mean I'm dating her. He said in low voice, and you heard it, and it made you frown in confusion. But you just swept it and left from there. He saw your disappearing figure and cried miserably while putting his hands on his face. You walked down the stairs fastly. You were lost in your own thoughts, so you unknowingly bumped into someone. I'm sorry, you casually, but when you saw whom you bumped with, 
when you poke your inner chest. Look who we have here, a cheater. Look, I don't have time for your nonsense, so leave my way. Helena was present there too when he was proposing you. Why are you that eager to announce my new language, Helena? What did I say wrong? What are you talking about? Don't be unknown. I know everything. I can't believe Jankuk rejected me for a cheater like you. What What did you say? He rejected you? Yes, he is so loyal to you and see yourself you are cheating on him with Alex. Wait a minute Helena, can you explain me what happened that day? Jungkook got nervous as everyone is gathered together. He doesn't feel anything for her, but he didn't want to embarrass her in front of everyone. He wanted to reject her politely. He hesitated a bit. She was waiting for his reply. Suddenly, everyone started cheering. Jungkook panicked more. He gathered courage, then gently made Helena stand. <laughs> 